quite a few vlogs about uh, being a nerd. Um, but uh, th this one might be a little bit different, but I don't know. Um, my reflection is about, um, well, about being a nerd, of course. But WatchMojo.com is a YouTube um, channel that I really like. And I just watched um, the they list things all the time. Top 10 signs that you're a nerd. And just watching that video, that's kind of a nerdy thing to do. I mean, to watch a video to help define what stereotype I fit into. But I think really diehard nerds um, wouldn't let me in their ranks. Because besides the fact that uh, I wear glasses, I'm smart, and I... I I used to be a grammar Nazi like crazy. I, I was a bookworm. I got good grades in high school, and and I know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek, which used to be a big deal. I mean, whenever I was twenty years ago, those were fighting words. You know, when when somebody says the Millennium Falcon could be the Enterprise, you know, or something like that. Those two. To me, they don't go together at all. I mean, they're... Man, I could, I could rant about that, and I thought that made me a nerd. Back in the day, it probably did. That whenever I, I'd go crazy about the genres, I bring the genres. But uh, it's, it's Star Wars and Star Trek are very mainstream now. And and being a nerd is, is, um, is, is more popular than it was. It's... Um, witness the number of graphic tees that are out there. Um, people used to wear thing, shirts, graphic tees that represented something they really like. Now it's just whatever's cool. You know, I mean, I still will not wear, like, I won't wear, like, a Halo t shirt because I've never played Halo. But, um, they're really, that kind of thing is popular. Now, I have a, a Super Mario Brothers t-shirt that I wear. Um, I like Super Mario Brothers, and I, I watched a lot of it. Um, or I, I played a lot, I guess, I should say. Because it's side-scrolling. Um, but that doesn't make me a nerd anymore. I used to. that Just wearing the graphic tees would make me a nerd. Out of the list of the ten things, I only fit into like a couple of areas, kind of. I mean... Like, when it comes to Dungeons & Dragons, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons. I'm not sure what a 20-sided dice is for. I mean, I know it. you roll it and it, it determines, I don't know, your moves or something. But, I, you know, I, I'm not big on role-playing games. So, that kind of disqualifies me in a way. And I'm big on fandoms. I like TV shows. But not too big. I mean, like... I really love Supernatural and watch the first three episodes or four episodes straight. And then now um, when my daughters or um, my my wife watches it, I'll watch that order and it won't be a big deal. I mean, I'm not that into it. I think it's cool, but, you know. Same thing with um, Doctor Who. Um, I watch them out of order. I watch a lot of Doctor Who, but I watch them out of order. I mean, I'm not that big on the story so much as each episode's really cool. Um, I guess I could go on and on with different fandoms. Um, but the point is, I'm not a big fanatic. Uh, so maybe I don't qualify as a nerd. Just kind of a, a low-level geek.